I wonder, how often do we really think about all the different elements that go into making a baseball game? Just how American is America's pastime these days? The truth is, in an increasingly global economy, it takes manufacturers from all over the world to make the things necessary to have a baseball game. There is a movie premiering tonight in Lawrenceville. You got to check it out because this could launch a grassroots movement unlike anything that we've seen in a really long time. It was directed and produced by homegrown talent. And according to this documentary, homegrown just might be the economic answer this country is so desperately looking for. Atlanta filmmaker Nathaniel Thomas McGill joins us this morning with more on American Made Movie. Fascinating. I was riveted by this documentary. Could not take my eyes off of it. First of all, because we all know the message that, that you're talking about. American manufacturing has just gone downhill in the past couple of years. Things that are made here, things, yeah. you know, they're... What made you want to tell this, this, this story? Well, you know, I think, like, like you said, the great thing about the film is that we think it has the power to change the way that people think about their goods. Because whether you realize it or not, we all have this relationship with the products that we buy and the things that are made in the country. And the truth is, is that there are people behind our products. So in terms of, uh, you know, being a documentary filmmaker, me and my partner, uh, Vincent Vittorio, who um, directed and produced this film with me, we started looking at the food movement and the organic movement. A couple of years ago, yes. you know, you didn't, you didn't see organic goods the way that you do now. When you go into your Publix or Kroger or whatever, your yes. grocery store, you see an entire section yes. dedicated to those goods. That's something that demand did. And we can do it again with a Made in America label. I thought it was interesting. The documentary pointed out that 60% of the things that we buy in this country come from foreign countries. Right. And so we're asking everyone, you know, to, to take a look at the things in their own home, take a look at what what they have and you know you'd be surprised by what you have and what you don't have you it know, is it is a grassroots like grassroots it, it starts very very small with with just local communities mm -hmm. and you actually pointed out a company this is what you pointed out in the movie that you know maybe we we don't have to buy from foreign countries but when foreign countries come here it's still a win-win because Americans are being put back to work right. uh, in Gwinnett County local leaders have taken the mantle if you will right. and and drove that that point home. And that's that's a great um, Georgia win, I think, because we've, we've kind of shown that there is this prototype for community involvement here, where if we can get our leaders on the same page talking about what's going to be good for our community and trying to attract businesses here, attracting manufacturing into your area, it's a lesson that we've seen as we've traveled all across the country, communities that get it, communities that are learning, uh, communities that don't get it. Um, it's, it's all a part of uh, the American story, but we can do this, mm -hmm. uh, I think, and that's why folks need to come out, check out the film AMC 18 uh, tonight and through the week uh, to um, uh, get, get engaged, get informed, and get out there and, and start helping America's manufacturing because it's a time where we all need jobs. But it starts with us, meaning the consumer, and that's, right. that's the sticky point, getting Americans to buy into buying American. This is an interesting story. As I'm watching the documentary, I'm looking around going at everything I've got on, that I, and I'm like, oh boy, made in China. Made. And then I pulled up my favorite pair of flip-flops, Okabashi, and I flip on the back and it goes, oh, made in the USA. And this is what you're talking about. This company, foreign company, based in Beaufort, Georgia. Yeah, this and is what you're talking they've about. They've been here really uh, 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 quite a while, and they're making these wonderful shoes in a, in a town that's actually historic for leather manufacturing many, many years ago. And uh, but wasn't it a good feeling when you when you looked and and you saw, hey, wow! So when you bought these, you know, you actually helped not just people in the United States that were making these craftsmen and women that make these shoes, but actually people in Georgia and in Gwinnett County specifically where your dollars helped contribute to this economy. And that's what it's that's all what about. You want. That's, that's what the it's movement all about. you want. Because yes. you have a choice when you go to the store of, of who do you want to help. And so, uh, you know, we can vote for different presidents. We can vote for different local leaders. And sometimes for us, you know, we, we don't want to roll up the sleeves and, and try to contribute in our way. We're just letting people know that no matter if you realize it or not, we all have a relationship. Yes. And these folks that work here are keeping maybe uh, Buford's finest restaurants open, uh, coffee shops open, 
And so it's really important that we think about that on a day-to-day -day basis. I love it. It's a fantastic documentary. Definitely, folks, you've got to check this out. Lawrenceville, as he said, it is tonight. Uh, the American-made movie, it actually premieres tonight at AMC Colonial 18 Theater, again in Lawrenceville. For more information, you can log into our website, myfoxatlanta.com. Click on the Good Day tab. That movie could change your life.